Hi everyone, this is Cindy and I'm still working on this Aubrey Ann journal and I got a big mess of course, this way I work. Um, two things I'm working on, one, I cut out all the pieces, I got the tickets almost cut out and some tabs and some banners and when I was doing the tabs I thought, you know, um, I think it'd be better cutting out this inside part if it was already folded, that way both sides would match. So I thought, well, you know, usually I line it up with my ruler, but I can't really see it. So I thought, can I do it on the front and still fold it? So that's what I'm going to try to do. So really, I'm going to be folding it back instead of forward, but we'll see. So I'm just lining it up with that little bitty divot right there. Let me get it on the front. A little divot right there. That's why I'm lining up both sides. So... And this is that really thick photo paper that's got the Kodak written on the back. So I don't want it photo that way. I want it folded this way. So that works out pretty well. And then this way I can trim this. And both sides will match. Okay. Now, so there's one of the tabs ready to go. To me that looks better than when I tried to cut, you know, tried to cut it out individually. It just looks a little smoother. But anyway, ink, you know, inking up does wonders. Okay, now the circles. I, I like the circles. I like using them as tags. And I thought, well, can I cut them out and make them look pretty? So I thought, well, let me try my... Uh, circle punch and if I'd had a three inch circle punch that wasn't scalloped I might could have gotten it done because uh, That's how close it came see how the little I just got a little bit on the tips So that well, you know, I could ink that up, but I really think it would show so that what's it gonna look like if I cut those off? Is it gonna look too much like a, a gear or something? But it doesn't look too bad at all. It's just got a little bitty divot out <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see or not Probably if I wasn't off camera all half the time. So anyway, I decided it works for this one, but I'll just cut the rest of them out by hand. But I think if you had a three inch circle that was not scalloped, you can just pop those out real quick. So anyway, I'm gonna keep cutting out this ephemera. I've got file folder cut out, and now I gotta decide what to do about this inside that's got Kodak written all over it. And I got the tall tags to go, and um, another folder. Seems like there, yeah, I think there was two folders. I've gotten my signature covers done. I used this craft paper because it had the roses on it, and I made it folded up to make pockets. And those, each one of those are different, and um, I like that one because they have blue. Because there's a little bit of blue scattered through this um, journal. And let me show you that paper pad. this one, Haberdashery, and it's from Paper Studio. Bought it a year or so ago. The reason I bought it is because it was double-sided. You know, you got the craft look on one side and the papers on the other, and it's hard to find double-sided paper at Hobby Lobby. But if you search hard enough, you can find it. But anyway, I'm going to keep working, and I will update you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi guys, this is Cindy again, and I've cut out all the ephemera, and I'm using this folder to keep it all contained, sort of. <laughs> and I was cutting out these banners, and um, I thought, you know, I do banners out of book pages. I just glue two on top of each other and put paper on back so you can write on it. So I wonder if these banners would fit on the ones I already have made. And I tried one, and I had to do a little bit of recutting on the banner, but I got it to work. So there's a banner, and there's a banner. And of course, I'll put a little extra lace or something on there. So anyway, I just thought I would show you what I was doing. If you had not, if you didn't have some of these banners already pre-made, of course, you could make it to fit, you know, cut it at the right height. But this one's just going to need just a little bit of trimming at the top. So I think that's just what we'll do. hate to cut into that flower, but... I did. Hi, Drina. Goodbye. Okay. So that works pretty good. And then I thought maybe this more neutral one right here. 
and it looks pretty good too just about the same amount off the top and too bad it's off the top because there goes part of the flower but anyway those will fit and I'm just gonna ink them up and glue them down and we've got another little banner already made so this is that really stiff photo paper that I got at a yard sale and it's like semi-gloss so it's kind of shiny but I don't think that matters too much and it is the stuff that's got Kodak written all over the back so we'll get to hide some of that but anyway um, I'm gonna put this one on the bottom I mean not the bottom back towards the back now this is that glue I'm not real fond of, but I'll tell you one thing about it. It does spread pretty nice, and it doesn't leave your fingers all inky up. I mean, not inky, but gluey. So, get rid of these scraps. Just going to glue that one down. Hopefully I'm on frame. And I apologize for the voice and the sniffing and the breathing heavy. It's like I'm dealing with a sinus issue. So, it's just part of life in the South. Okay. Ah. Maybe I take that back about my fingers not being inky. <laughs> it wouldn't be too bad if I'd stopped to take time to clean them off a little bit. Anyway, there it is. Let me get rid of these fingers, these hands. So, I think I want to move. I can't really move it over more because of the point. So, but anyway, I might can run some bling or something down there, some lace. That's the banners. So, I did two of those like that, and I'll do something different with these other ones. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, I'm back on another little project, and uh, my fingers are still gluey, not inky, gluey, but I will try it anyway. Um, I got this folder, and I've told you many times I printed it on the photo paper that's got Kodak written all over it, so I want to get rid of that. So I thought I would try gesso. We'll see how that does. I'm not a fond of gesso. I'm not fond of gesso. I just don't think it does what it's. I don't know. I'm not sure what it does. I guess it's not made to cover stuff up. It's made to prep a canvas, so I should give it a break. But anyway, I'm gonna use a little bit of that. And I have a brush here I don't like, so using gesso I don't like and a brush I don't like, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, there's where it's got Kodak written all over it, so. I'm just gonna, okay, it's working pretty good on this. All right, I'll take it all back. Maybe I like it after all. <laughs> it's covering up pretty good. So I'm gonna get some paper and put behind it. I never think of that till too late. But I got a stack of paper here underneath my desk. Okay. I mean, I don't have anything else to show except just uh, wanted to do this real quick. And I might have to put a second coat if I want it to completely cover it. I just want whoever gets this to be able to write on this folder because I probably won't do a whole lot with it. I thought about putting, you know, like a tablet of paper on it, in it, or uh, sew some in through the spine, so I might do that. I think this is the smaller of the folder, so that might be a better one to do it on. So anyway, this didn't turn out too bad. So I feel pretty good about that. So I'm going to go on and just sew some of the tags and things that had the same thing on the background. So we'll at least have one coat of something on there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Hi guys, here's some more progress on my journal. Um, I uh, Here's the cover. And outside needs work because the tape on the book jacket was really strong. So it took off some of the paper on the front. But I'll cover that up with something. Like I don't like this brown either, so we'll deal with that. But on the inside, it was just white. And there's nothing wrong with that, except, you know, I had I added some chipboard to the spine just to reinforce it. So I wanted to cover it up. So I just took a sheet of the, when I originally started printing out um, the kit, I was using just plain copy paper, and also I was running out of ink. So it was kind of more purple than pink, but um, I thought I just need a neutral background here, so I think that'll work fine. So I just glued that in. And on this other side, I'm just gonna take another sheet that kind of, 
uh, same color tone and cut it and, and glue it in. And it's a little bit busier, but it's going to be on the back, so that's fine. So anyway, I just thought I would turn the camera on while working on it. I'm just going to kind of get a little measurement of where to cut it. So just somewhere in there. And this is a pin that uh, dissolves over time with air. So I usually use it on fabric, but I can use it on this now. So here's my cutter, Red Forever. And just get a good cut on that. You gotta work fast because your line disappears. <laughs> And it's also the same color as the background. I did not get a new bottle of glue yet. I haven't been anywhere to get any, so I uh, still apologize for the sinuses. We're maybe a little better, but not enough. Got stuff falling everywhere. Okay, so I think that's going to fit just fine, so I'm just going to give it some glue. And I got my bottle of Fabri-Tac already getting ready. So, let's see if we can get some out. I'm going to be out of town for about three days, so um, I won't be getting anything done. Maybe a little shopping, though. Yes, definitely a little shopping. But, um... Maybe I'll give a chance for my sinuses to clear up. <laughs> you won't have to listen to me anymore. Okay, that's easy enough. I hope it was on frame and frame, close enough, I guess. Okay, that's about all I've got to show you right now. I'm gonna start working on the signatures. I've got them, uh, pages selected. They're just not put together yet. So I'm gonna start working on those. And I did get the pocket sewn, so. Start working on those, see what kind of decorations I can come up with. And one thing I wanted to say about this was I put this one sheet of paper on and I just kind of worked my fingers in the creases a little, but I didn't bend it a lot, just let it dry. And it makes it much easier once it's dry to give it the really good bend. You don't get the wrinkles that way. So anyway, I think this is going to be very pretty on the inside. Not sure about the outside yet, but I'll talk to you all later. Bye.